Lizette LaForge from Beacon Windows, and today we're here with Myrna Irwin, and she has a problem on her sliding glass doors. Now, our company specializes in refurbishing sliding glass doors. So, Myrna, what's going on with your slider? Oh, you really don't want to know. I get very high electric bills from all the drafts. It's hot in the summer, it's cold and whistling and noisy in the winter time. It's like a wind tunnel here. And frankly, it drives us crazy. You know, that's a very common complaint. I would have to say that's probably our second highest complaint is we have doors that have drafts. And the issue with that is partially how the door is in the opening, but also the weather stripping. That's a big, big issue. So to address that today, I brought an expert in. His name is Sam Radowick, and he comes from a company called Building Insight. And Sam's specialty is in teaching people where the problems are in their homes so that they can address them properly. Sam, how you doing? Oh, very good, very good. We're just uh, getting you. ready to get started here. So what have you done to our door here? Well, this piece of equipment is called a blower door, and it's quite simply just a canvas door with a fan mounted in the middle of it and a manometer. And what it's going to do is depressurize the building. In other words, suck the air out of the building and so wherever the leaks are in the building, whether it's around the windows or the doors, weather stripping, air will suck in through them and we'll be able to find them. Okay. Now, I've entered the pertinent data for this particular residence and it's all set. And so now we're going to turn up the fan and uh, it's going to suck air out of the building. We're gonna run it down to the industry standard of minus 50 Pascals. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to start searching for leaks, air infiltration. Now along with that high-tech piece of equipment, we have a, another high-tech piece of equipment, a little incense stick. You can use a lot of different things to detect leaks. There's very expensive smoker guns that you can use, but also a homeowner can use something this simple. And so first we're going to start here, we're going to look at the bathroom. And a very common area for air leakage is the plumbing, the holes drilled through the wall to bring the water supply and the drains through the walls. And they, had, they cut very big holes in there. And so air, I can feel with my hand, I don't know if the smoker stick will pick it up, but you can feel a very strong graph. See how the glow of the coal gets brighter from all the oxygen blowing across it? So a lot of air is leaking in through there. Another surprising area is electrical receptacles. I don't, you probably can't pick that up the white on white, but I can feel a lot of air sucking in around this plate and around the switches and air going up the wall. Now let's take a look at these lights. Can you see how much air is coming through these can lights? I can feel that. And of course you can see it very dramatically. There's a lot of air blowing in through there. So there's a lot of areas where there can be air infiltration, moisture infiltration, along with mold, mildew, pollen in a home. So things that, areas that people don't think of. But some of the more common ones are windows. And let's take a look at a window over here. Now, as we look at this window, right off the bat, you can see air leaking in. Look at the, the curtain blowing in the breeze. That's how much wind is blowing through here. And I could feel it with my hand. And of course, with the smoker, you can see the, the smoke just blowing at me. So the seal on this window is in bad repair, and that's letting in a lot of air and losing a lot of energy, costing the homeowner expensive utility bills. Now let's go out and take a look at the sliding glass door. Sliding glass doors are very important because they have so many linear feet of weather stripping on, on them that they can account for a very large amount of energy loss and air infiltration. And so one uh, piece of equipment we like to use is the infrared camera. And as we, hold the, as we hold the infrared camera up to the seal of the doors, where the lighter blue color is, is where the cool air is blowing through, and that means that's energy loss. So as we go along the seams where it's bright blue, that's energy coming through, that's air coming through. Oh, we just took a picture of it. There we go, that's still a little tighter there, but now we come back down the center. Oh, I got a little too close to the camera. These cameras are very sensitive to the distance and the temperatures. You can see all the energy, switch it again, all the energy coming in through around the door handle, and as we get back down to the bottom, see all the blue along the bottom, that's all energy loss, that's all air infiltration coming in. Okay, 
So we know the weather stripping on this door is a lot is costing the homeowner a lot of money in, in heating and cooling. And again, also dust, pollen, VOCs, carbon monoxide is also penetrating through, not through the glass, but through the ceiling. Well, Sam, thanks very much for an excellent explanation. So what we're going to do is we're going to be fixing this sliding glass door to make it more efficient, including the weather stripping. When we finish this task, we're going to show you what the results are so you can see a before and after when a door has been correctly refurbished. Sam, welcome back. It's good to be back. Well, could you do me a huge favor and tell our viewers what you've been doing since we saw you last? Well, I'll be glad to. Well, first we set up the blower door and that depressurized the whole unit uh, and it gives us an indication where all the air leaks are. For example, we walk through the building, we look at all the electrical receptacles to see if there's air leaking coming through here where the electricians drill a hole in the wall to run their wires. We also look at the receptacles themselves, the switches and the outlets. Typically we find a lot of air loss around these. We came back, we put gaskets behind them. Also the light fixtures themselves, again, they're a large hole behind this receptacle uh, for the wiring, but it's a source of huge energy loss. We also take a look at underneath the sinks here, as we remember from before we looked at this, lots of energy loss through the drain lines, uh, through the supply lines. You can see we foam them in back there uh, to seal that off so there's no more energy loss from underneath the sinks. And you guys came in and sealed these windows, these sliders and the sliding glass door up front. And what a beautiful job. Look at the mechanics on this. That just functions beautifully. But you put in new weather sealing all the way around for a nice tight fit. Look at that. That just see that's that's exquisite work. Uh, so let's uh, fire up the blower door, depressurize the unit, and let's see some results of our work. Let's see what we've done. So we're gonna Turn the fan up high, and we've already done a test, and we've got the number differential. We've numerically verified how much energy loss we've done, but now we want to see it visually. So we're going to take our handy dandy incense smoker stick, and when we first tested this building, there was a huge hole behind this light and a lot of energy was being pulled through this light fixture. Now you can see the air is barely moving at all. Also around this receptacle here, the, the smoke is barely moving at all. That means we've really sealed these things up well. No more energy loss there. Very handy tool. So we use this for all of our, um, all of our tests. Also too, we put new LED light, you, uh, light bulbs in here for energy savings for the client. Now what I'd like to do, is show you with our infrared camera, our IR camera. Let's get some more evidence of the work we've done. Now, when we tested this last time, the temperature differential from the middle of the pane to where the air was leaking was over 10 degrees. It actually went off the scale. Now we're gonna hold it on here and as you look at it, I can't even, whoop, here we go, let's try it again, there we go. I can't even find where the seam of that door is. Even though the blower door is really pulling a lot of air, there is no temperature differential that the infrared camera can pick up. I don't hear any air coming through there, I can't feel any air coming in there. And if you notice, there's no uh, color differential. So this has been a very positively sealed door. Very impressed with the work here. So, we have uh, the blower door, and when we looked at those figures, the, uh, the manometer indicates a substantial reduction in energy loss in this building since we've done all the different ceilings and the new sliders and the windows have been done. Wow, fantastic. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to see proof of that. Been a pleasure. And I really, really appreciate all the hard work that you've done for us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So, now I'd like to introduce you to Myrna. Myrna, tell us, you live here, how did you enjoy the work? What's changed for you? Wow, Lizette, such a change. As you know, the last few weeks, 
here we have experienced wind and cold and uh, unseason unseasonably cold weather. Yes. And very drafty last year. I noticed all the whistling through the windows. This year, nothing. Really? Uh, you guys did the most phenomenal job of sealing up those uh, hisses and uh, I love it. I can't wait to get my power bill next summer. That will be the true test because as you know, I have had astronomical bills in the summertime. Yes, you told me. Yes. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's fantastic. Well, thank you. And, and, and you have such a wonderful professional. The guys are just great. What a great crew to have come into my home. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. We try really hard. We want to do excellent work. You do. So thank you so much. It was awesome working with you. We we'll look forward to seeing you soon. So that's what Myrna thinks. Have us give, give us a call. We'll come help you next.